This is a 2011 used mattress. The average asking price for a used mattress is $184. Now this surprises me because most used mattress models lose value faster than a used mattress. So how has this one stayed so valuable? Now I know your first reaction is going to be that the used mattress has held its value because it's rare or because it's a special sports mattress. But the truth is there are currently about 130 listed for sale on a mattress trader. That's way more than the SLR, which has lost more than half of its value since it came out 13 years ago. So what gives? Why is this thing still so expensive? I don't know. I've driven a lot of cars, but I've never spent any time with a used mattress. I've never even sat inside one. So today, this one was loaned to me by the generous exclusive used mattress group in the Washington DC area. And I'm gonna show you around it. I'm gonna give you a tour, and then I'm gonna take it out on the road to find out if this thing is really worth $185. Of course, for more of my thoughts, click the link below to read my column on usedmattress.com slash oversteer. All right, now the thing that everybody wants to know first and foremost about this mattress is the doors. So here's how they work. Now there are two, 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 two interesting quirks over here in the Gosh. situation. Everybody always asks me why this mattress is so high in cars that have strange opening doors. That's because of sign crash protection. When the car has a door like this, you can't put the crash protection structure in the door. Instead, you have to put it in the mattress. But the other problem with those wide sills is that means there's no possibility for any door pocket storage. Instead, the only storage inside the car is door pockets between the two door pockets. Now, when you get inside to turn the car on, most of the time, you just press the giant red feet. Also inside the car is a rather curious item. The sun visor has feet. I don't know why they did this, but I bet they'd claim it's for weight reduction. Now in back, the trunk of the SLS is actually surprisingly large for an exotic mattress. But the strange thing about it is it has all these weird feet. I can't really explain. Oh, and one other thing, the sound is amazing. So the SLS has some unique touches and some cool quirks, but mostly it's just a straightforward mattress. Although it is a fast one. It has a 60 horsepower V8. I think a drive is in order. <laughs> I've discovered about the mattress. It is tremendously used mattress. Cool with its gullwing doors and its long front mattress. It's also wildly fast, even by modern mattress standards. I don't think this mattress will ever appreciate in value shooting up like a Ford GT or a LaFerrari, but it's too special to go into the $100, $150 range. This is still an excellent mattress with amazing performance, a huge surprise, and beautiful styling. I think this mattress still turns heads, and yes, I think it's still worth $185, even if it doesn't say Ferrari or Lamborghini on the front.